Hello everyone. So you have a channeled message today. So I am what you call a, you can call us a channel or a channeler. It doesn't matter if it's interchangeable. So you can say both. So I channel messages and from where you might ask. I do angels a lot. I'll do source and sometimes I'll get others that come through um, like ancestors and stuff like that. But like I said before in my other videos, you'll know what's positive energy because everybody has psychic abilities okay but some are just much more sensitive than others and so we have a sense or a knowing or clear sentience of what's going on so we'll know what's good and what's negative okay yeah so don't think about that in that kind of way like oh where, where are you getting your information from you know where you're channeling who are you channeling but anyway I move on. Lately, I've been just trying to channel just through myself directly to Source because we are one with Source. We are Source, right? So, or whatever you want to say, God, Creator, uh, Universe, okay? So, i rather do it that way lately because it's a direct link, okay? <laughs> Yourself is you still at the end of the day. All right, so with that being said, Source has a message for you and obviously it's for the collective. The message is, speaking of source it's to believe in yourself basically or i like to say have a knowing because you know just know that you are it you you are it because like i just said earlier you are source the religions said it before they had it right when they said that it's within you the light god whatever is within you but there's a little part there that takes away your power because it's a little contradictory like it's within you you can do this you you got this because you have the light within you but at the same time it's like but also s separate your credit and then give it over here to what they're making seem like it's a separate entity but it cannot be separate if it's within you and you're one it doesn't make sense it doesn't add up so it takes away your power a little bit when you do that remember when you are depressed or sad or what have you and you're laying in bed you don't have anyone, you don't feel anyone literally lifting you and moving you to the next spot, or you don't magically just feel better. You're laying there, some people for days, trying to move, trying to do your best. But there is that one day that you just say enough is enough, and then you do that. It's you doing that, right? Because you are one with source. You are source. You have the power within you. So... You are saying to yourself, I can't do this anymore. I, I have to get up. Those are your thoughts. Come on, let's be real. Those are your thoughts. I can't do this anymore. I gotta move. You know, if you have children, you don't wanna have your children suffering. So I can't have my kids starving. I gotta go to work today. I gotta, I have to. And that one day you actually get up and you actually do the things you have to do, all right? And then it feels good because you feel like you did it, right? Because you feel accomplished. Like, I did this. I actually completed this task. I finally got up. I finally said enough is enough. It feels good because you did it. It don't feel good because somebody else did it. Let's be real. You got to be real with yourself. It feels good because you accomplished something. So you can accomplish anything you put your mind to because you have the power. Like I always say, because I'm not, I don't claim to be perfect. I don't. It's easier said than done. So I can say all this and you're going to look at me like, oh, yeah. And it's hard for me right now because I have A, B, and C and I have a bipolar. Blah, blah, blah. I never said it was easy. I did not. But the message that you have the power to change things. So eventually you can make that difference. And it's motivation. Okay. I'm trying to motivate you because this is a message that came through today. It's, it's always motivation that comes through. Because they're, they they want you to see your power. They want you to do well. Okay. It's not, it's not going to be easy. But you can do it. That's the message. You can do it. And I just love seeing people when they step into their power. This message has been coming through a lot lately. If you've been keeping up with the tarot readings that I do for you. I try to do daily. Definitely weekly. And I think one of them I named them superpower. Because that's literally what came through in your reading. Uh, with the cards so step into your power 
this is the year that people are taking back their power and they have been noticing it, okay? They've noticed that things are changing for them in their lives. Even through the negative things that are happening, they're seeing the positive things, which were, that was hard to do before. That's a hard thing to do to see the positive in the negative, in the negative. but they're, they're doing it and they're seeing little subtle changes. Definitely the year of taking back your power, growing your power. Like I said before, when you're in that bed and you can't move, and you finally start talking to yourself, that's you, what you're doing, you're manifesting. You're a manifester, you're the one manifesting it. Or you have alchemy, you are the magician, okay? You can make things happen. Manifest yourself, the abundance you need. It takes time, like I said. Um, even when you're doing it and you're positive about what you're doing, and like, I got this, it still takes some time. Trust and believe me, it takes time. Everything in the divine timing, they say, right? Everything in divine timing, it has to be the perfect timing for you. And that must mean that there's still lessons to be learned, things to be worked out, all right? When it hasn't happened immediately. Even though some people will tell you it should, if it should, it would have, okay? If it should, it would have. But the thing is, you, you're not, you were, you're not ready. You're not where you need to be for it to work in that moment, but it's already up. You already put it up in the quantum field to ready, creating this bubble. It's already beginning to manifest and form, but it comes down when it's time. So it's there. You already created that bubble. It's already out there. Okay. Just keep on believing that you can, that it's going to happen. Feel that it's going to happen. You can't feel it all the time. Not all the time. You're human. You're going to be like, oh, sometimes we're going to have some bad days. But do your best to say, okay, you know what? I shake it off. I know it's going to come. I know it's going to come. And it's going to come. Trust me. Uh, like I said before, in the winter time, because I do YouTube, I do readings on YouTube. So in one of my lives, I said the summertime, things are going to pick up. I gave different time frames for what things are going to be. Remember, it's general. So it's going to be maybe a little bit slower for others, but it is definitely happening in the time frame for the majority of what I said because it's a general reading and the summertime has the spring and I said into the summer and it's starting to form for different people have told it's, it is forming for them the way that I told the story on my live and then when I break it down some more and I do signs like the different zodiac signs I even have more information of the time frames right I said I believe on here on TikTok I said Aries is something about winter is something is coming for them. You have to go go watch that if you're Aries. Um, fire sign, sorry, fire sign. I did it uh, general reading for fire signs. Take back your power is what it's saying because you can rise above what you're going through, no matter how hard it is and how it, and what it seems like to you and how you feel at times. Your feelings are valid. It's okay to sometimes have that little breakdown, but pick yourself back up. That you get, as long as you're not staying there, where it's gonna start to become unhealthy. That's the only thing. You're you're allowed to be angry. You're allowed to be sad. You're allowed to be these things, but you just can't stay there long. Then it becomes very unhealthy. Right? That's the problem. So you have the power. I'm gonna keep saying it throughout this whole thing. You have the power. You have the power. You have the power. All right. And say it to yourself and know it. Know it. Until next time, my beautiful people, I hope this message really reaches and touches deep, deep down within you and you come out shining brighter than the sun. If you need any more guidance, you can DM me for your reading. If you like or your, your counseling, your spiritual counseling, it's all motivation over here. It doesn't matter what you believe in, what you follow. Is it so wrong to think and or to know? That you have power? What? Is that so bad? That's it for your channel message. You got this. Okay, you got this.